There's at least one agency sounding the alarm bells. Yeah, there is a view that this risk of extreme climate and weather is not being priced in, and that could lead both credit issuers and investors to facing far bigger losses down the road. And when you think of the extreme weather just in the past year, those fires tearing apart throughout Greece, the devastating uh, fires at Maui that took out uh, that part of Hawaii, flooding and typhoons, extreme heat and snowstorms. It makes sense why there's such concern because there's starting to be a growing realization the real estate credit market is directly affected by this and extreme weather not being reflected in the bond ratings. And this is one reason the head of sustainable fixed income at Federated Homes, for instance, is now underweight real estate credit. Uh, the global head of ESG and impact investing at Newberger Berman says he's increasingly looking at weather issues with it. They have enough capital to deal with the fallout of climate change. And analysts at Barclay say nature-related risks are being mispriced across sovereign bond markets, and that will ultimately trigger downgrades. So there are a lot of concerns here. Bottom line, managers saying if you have two similar looking investment opportunities, a bond issuer that's been able to better protect itself from physical climate risk is likely to be the much better investment over time. So Sue, what sorts of solutions are being proposed? Well, the problem is the credit rating industry does not yet really have a way to calculate this risk, and investors are well aware of that. In fact, the agency that is called IEEFA, that's the Energy, Economics, and Financial Analysts Industry, uh, they say bond investors really have to rely on their own assessments. They can't turn to credit ratings for a useful evaluation of this stuff. And the industry group says that inside the biggest ratings firms, alarm bells have been sounding for months but these internal warnings have largely gone unheeded. So the concern is that the failure to factor in the risk of these extreme fires, the floods, the droughts, the storms, uh, could dent portfolios, and in the case of sovereign bonds, really hurt economies.